Have you ever heard of a pelvic trainer? Well, these are devices that are marketed towards people that can help improve urinary leakage and potentially even your sex life. I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today I'm gonna to explain to you exactly how pelvic trainers work, what type of pelvic trainers there are, which one might be right for you. At the end, I'm gonna review three very interesting pelvic trainers, so make sure you stick around till the end. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and share this content with your friends. Give me a thumbs up as it helps other viewers like you find my channel. So what pelvic trainers do essentially is help both men and women do Kegel exercises. I've made a video about Kegel exercises before, so you can check that out if you wanna learn more about them. But essentially what these are are strengthening exercises for the pelvic floor. And the pelvic floor muscles are basically a bowl of muscles that are at the bottom of your belly and that are either around your vagina or around your penis and your anus for men. In women, they can help with urinary control and they're involved in orgasm and ejaculation for men and women. These originally came about because people wanted to be able to do pelvic floor exercises at home or Kegel exercises at home more efficiently. And when you look at data on people trying to do Kegel exercises, only about 60% of them really know how to do them correctly. There's a lot of different ways people tell you to do them. Some people will say it's like when you're peeing and you try to stop the stream. For other people, it's like pulling up and in in the vagina for women and for men it's like trying to hold in a fart or trying to lift up your penis off the ground. As I mentioned before these are most commonly used in women for urinary leakage like leakage that occurs with coughing, sneezing, exercise, walking, anything that increases the pressure in your belly. For men these are most commonly used when men have prostatectomies for cancer and they develop urinary incontinence after that. A lot of times people will also also use these because they think they'll help them get more stronger orgasms and have a better sex life. And this is because those pelvic floor muscles very often contract when you're having an orgasm. And so having stronger pelvic floor muscles can help you have stronger contractions and hence stronger orgasms. So before I get into talking about pelvic trainers, it's important to know that doing these exercises is not right for everyone. It's not right for people who have any sort of pain in the area, whether it's pain in the vagina, pain with erections in men, pain with ejaculation, those sorts of things may be a sign that you have what's called high tone pelvic floor dysfunction. And what that is, is when you have those muscles being tense all the time and they're not relaxing and doing Kegel exercises can actually make it worse. So if you're not sure, you should always see a pelvic floor physical therapist or a urologist to get examined to assess the tone of your pelvic floor. Also, doing these exercises can be done at home or they can be done under the supervision of a certified pelvic floor physical therapist. I like to describe it as going to the gym with a personal trainer. You're gonna have someone who helps guide you and helps you get stronger quicker and make sure you're doing the exercises the right way. Despite the fact that having a pelvic floor physical therapist is probably the gold standard, meaning it's the best thing you can do, not everyone can afford to see one or take the time off work to have access to one and so that's where these pelvic trainers may be helpful. Some of these trainers come with applications that can help you develop consistency with doing exercises. So let's dive right in. What kinds of pelvic trainers are there? The oldest form of pelvic trainers are Kegel balls or Kegel weights. And you guys may have seen some viral YouTube videos about women holding really heavy weights in their vagina or from their vagina with these Kegel balls. But basically what they are, they're insertable devices that go in the vagina, typically for women, that can help strengthen the pelvic floor. And essentially what happens is when they go in the vagina, your muscles have to contract in order to hold them in. There's several benefits to using these. These include that it's really easy to use and pretty easy to understand how to use them. If they start falling out, you know you need to contract more to keep it in. Also, you can increase the weight of these so that you can slowly over time increase the strength of your pelvic floor. Often you don't need a pelvic floor physical therapist necessarily to teach you how to use one and they're super quick to do. However, a lot of people think that they should leave them in all day and that's better, but more is not necessarily better. It would be like you went to the gym, picked up a weight and walked around all day like this. Over time, these muscles are gonna get really tired and you're gonna lose any benefit of doing this. 
Also, depending on the shape of your vagina and the shape of the device you put in, you could be relying on other things to keep the cone or ball or whatever it is in the vagina. So you may not actually be strengthening your pelvic floor. And lastly, just holding the device in may not be a sufficient exercise to actually train your pelvic floor. And generally speaking, for all of these pelvic trainers or any sort of activity that you wanna do to increase the strength of your pelvic floor, it's important to also think about about strengthening your core and your posture and making sure that your body is kind of in alignment as well because all of that contributes to having a strong pelvic floor. And that's where a pelvic floor physical therapist can be helpful because they can help identify where you may be off in alignment or things like that. Also, another disadvantage of these Kegel balls is some people just can't use them, right? They have too much d discomfort with inserting things in their vagina or their vagina may be scarred or thinned from either menopause or having prior surgery. If you decide to buy these, you wanna make sure you look for BPA-free products that are usually silicone and safe to use in the vagina. You wanna make sure that you're not using things like jade eggs. These are porous materials like a sponge and so bacteria can actually get into those products and then cause infections in the vagina. So those are definitely not recommended. Also, ideally you wanna have a string at the end of these weights so that if for some reason they get stuck up very high, you can always pull them out with the string just like a tampon. And lastly, as I said before, you definitely wanna take them out after a short amount of time. You don't want to leave them in all day. The next kind of device is called a biofeedback or wearable device. These are kind of like Fitbits for your pelvic floor. Most of these are made for women and they're usually a device that's inserted in the vagina. However, one of the devices I'm gonna show you is made for men and it does not need to be inserted in the rectum or anything like that. So make sure you stick around to hear about that one. But essentially what these do is these are placed on the skin near the vagina or near the anus. And and these will monitor the squeeze of your pelvic floor. And they're usually connected to some sort of app so you can visually see your squeeze and your relaxation. There's several different products on the market that are available. They're usually, like I said, correlated with an app that will give you notifications to remind you that it's time to do your Kegel exercises and it'll track your progress over time. The last kind of device is an electrical stimulation device. And these devices are usually a little bit more pricey and they work by essentially providing a very low level of electrical stimulation, causing your muscles to contract on their own. These are great specifically for people who really have no idea how to do a Kegel exercise or are really too weak to even do a basic Kegel exercise. They're also been shown to have some benefit in patients who have urgency urinary incontinence, meaning they leak because they can't get to the bathroom in time. They gotta go, gotta go, and they can't make it. The way these work is the stimulation itself over time increases the actual bulk of the musculature of the pelvic floor muscles. This can obviously increase the strength, which makes it more likely that you can control your urinary stream and prevent leakage. It can also help you keep the urethra or bladder neck closed more often because the muscle is stronger. It can also inhibit bladder contraction so you have less urgency and it can increase the vascularity or blood flow to the muscles. How do you determine what product is right for you? Well, first you need to know how techy exactly are you? Are you likely to stick around and use an app religiously once you've purchased a product? If so, then this might be a great motivator for you to keep up with Kegel exercises. Also, what exactly do you want out of the app? Do you want fun sorts of games? Do you want some sort of tracker for your urinary symptoms as well as tracking how much you use the device? Do you want access to a healthcare professional or someone who can help guide you when using the device? Does it specifically help you with different types of programs for stress incontinence or incontinence with urgency like the gotta go, gotta go? Does it have a specific program to increase sexual function? So knowing this about the device before you buy it is important. The first device we're gonna talk about is the Yarlap device. This is called the Auto Kegel, and it's the first FDA approved device that's used to re-educate a women's pelvic floor muscles. So the Yarlap does a Kegel workout for you. It's safe, effective, and discreet, and works exactly while you relax. It's 
FDA cleared to treat stress, urge, and mixed urinary incontinence 20 minutes a day, five times a week. It essentially instructs your pelvic floor muscles to gently contract and relax in order to show you how a Kegel exercise should actually feel. The great part about this device is it actually does the workout for you. It's made up of a probe that's inserted into the vagina and attached to a display unit, which you can program based on what your condition is that you're trying to treat. They have these very specific programs. Programs one and two are used to treat mixed urinary incontinence or incontinence from both activities as well as urgency, gotta go, gotta go. Programs three and four are specifically for urgency incontinence and programs five and six are used for stress incontinence. And depending on the program you choose, it runs 15 to 20 minutes long. So when I tried the device, it was super easy to use. It comes with this great lubricant and you can insert it and have really no problems. It does all the work for you. It's super easy. You can put it in and watch a TV show or watch a YouTube video like this one and the work is done. So because there is this electrical stimulation component, it is more pricey than the other pelvic trainers you're gonna see on the market. It ends up being about $299. If you're interested in trying any of the devices I talk about today, all the links will be in the description below and some of them will have discounts as well. The next one is a device specifically for men and I was really excited about this because there's just so few devices for men out there and this one doesn't need to be inserted. It's called Boost by Kegel. This pillow here is what senses the contractions or the Kegel exercises that you're doing. The best part of this device is how simple it is to use and how easy the app is to use. All you have to do is sit on the cushion and turn on the app. The app allows you to connect to the device and it uses 360 degree sensors that will send vibrations to the device so that you can feel when you need to do the pelvic floor exercises. It measures how strong your exercises are based on those sensors as well. And it basically makes it super easy to know if you're doing them well or not and reach certain thresholds. The device comes with a super easy USB cord for charging and it lasts for about two hours on each charge. You can use it with your clothes on so you don't have to take anything off, you don't have to put anything in anywhere and it's super fun and easy to use. I actually found myself doing Kegel exercises with it just to play the games. The next device I'm going to talk about is truly innovative. It not only uses electrical stimulation with vibration but it also uses heat and low level red light therapy to help with not only urinary symptoms, but also to improve the vaginal tissues in women, particularly if you're having issues with perimenopause or postmenopause, this might be a great option for you. So the three components of Joylux do three different things. The low level light energy activates a certain part of our cells called the mitochondria. These are essentially the powerhouses of our cells and they create proteins and other special factors called growth factors. These all together increase oxygen delivery to the cells and help repair cells that may be unhealthy. The heat component increases blood circulation to the area as well as the collagen content. And lastly, the vibration increases the fibroblast production, which essentially secretes collagen in the tissue. So all three of these things taken together really increase the quality of the vaginal tissues and help increase the strength of the pelvic floor muscles. The best part of Joylux is that they actually studied their product. They studied it on 48 women. They looked at improvements in urinary symptoms, sexual function, pelvic floor muscle strength, and overall satisfaction. And what they saw was that people had moderate to severe incontinence, meaning that they were pretty wet before they started using Joylux. And after completing the full treatment period, they went down to only 18% of people having those symptoms. About 50% of people had improved sexual function Function, and they found that people's pelvic floor muscle strength significantly improved from the beginning of the study to the end. Overall, treatment satisfaction was over 80%. So when you're using the device, you insert the silicone component of the device after lubricating it into the vaginal canal for up to 10 minutes per treatment device. You can use the lubricant that comes from the company or any sort of water-based lubricant that will help improve comfort when inserting the device and augment the transfer of light. But I strongly recommend using any sort of lubricant that can help make it more comfortable when inserting the device. 
Joylux connects to an app that you download on your phone. Once you've connected it to your phone, you can turn the device on and it will automatically connect using Bluetooth. You then insert the probe, which is the silicone part of the probe after lubrication into the vaginal canal for up to 10 minutes. You wanna make sure you use a lubricant to help improve comfort when you're putting the device in. The app will automatically turn on and off the device as you instruct it to do so. When I used the app the first time, I actually navigated away from the page that was administering the treatment, and then I didn't realize the treatment went on longer than six minutes, which was the original treatment for beginners. Uh, so that would be the only thing I'd recommend is don't navigate away from the page that's doing the treatment, or keep track, if you do, of how long you went. Overall, I think it's a really nice product. When I opened the box, I was so impressed with the quality of the product itself. And I love that they did a scientific study and published their data for public availability. Um, as you know, I'm a big fan of that. So if you'd like to check it out, make sure you check out the link in the description below. I hope you guys found this useful. As always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.